Hello and welcome to another episode from The Water's Edge and you join us today at the Bridge Pub stretch in Lemwade fishing our local river Wensum. Now it is absolutely freezing today and we've only got a very very short session. We've got about three hours of light left but to be fair with small clear rivers like this action can be really quick from the off and then it can die off so you only need a small amount of time fishing and I'm going to be getting in the river when I fish and to be fair I'm a bit of a wuss. I don't think I'd last any more than a couple of hours in here anyway. I don't like fishing enough to get hyperthermia. But there's a little story behind exactly why we're here. It's myself and Chris were lucky enough with work to film with John Wilson, literally a couple of hundred yards down the bank at this very stretch. Now, I'm sure you're all aware that unfortunately John is no longer with us and I'm sure you'll agree that he's a huge influence in angling across the world. And we probably wouldn't be doing what we're doing now, filming and bringing you videos if it wasn't for such a big influence like John. And the reason we're here doing this exact video is because one of the questions we asked him is if you could fish anywhere in the world and do anything again, bearing in mind where he's been, he said that he would catch big roach on the River Wensum. And it's quite a, for me, quite an amazing answer. I thought he'd be picking somewhere hot and exotic, but we thought it'd be nice to come down and the next video we produce to try and catch a roach on the river Wensum. So that is exactly what we're going to try and do now. So I've got some baits with me, we're ready. We're going to be fishing liquidized bread uh, in a little feeder and then I've got hook bait choice if I've got a bread flake or some maggots as well. So we'll swap and change and see what's best and as I said a little paternoster rig but perhaps we'll talk to you a bit more about the rig when we get in the river. So I'm going to try and get on with it now. We haven't got long. I'm going to take this bucket of bait down with us and see if we can't catch a few fish. So I've braved it and I'm in. I'm not going to go too far in, but there's something just a bit special about getting in the water. It just makes you feel that little bit more at one when you're fishing with the river. But the swim itself, like I said, it's not particularly big, this river. Sort of, sort of 20 yards across maybe, but just over there is sort of a tree that's fell in. And what I'm hopefully going to be doing is just flicking in and around. I'm not going to go too close to it, but if I can get a steady plop of the feeder in the same sort of area, hopefully that will encourage the roach to uh, to come up and have a bit of a feed. You never know, there could be a chance of a, a chub or two as well, but it's not quite coloured enough and flooded enough for that to happen. But you never know, it's river fishing. So I'm going to start with a couple of maggots, small little feeder, and I'm just going to be nipping a little bit of liquidised bread in that feeder, and hopefully that's going to be enough each cast just to plop in and create enough attraction to keep bites coming. So we'll uh, we'll get the first cast in and out. Like I said, it, sometimes this particular spot can be very, very good. So hopefully we'll get a bit of action fairly quick. And I've just had a little indication there as well, but everything's to hand, the bait's here, scourge in the bucket, I haven't really got a move. It's just the concentration now, of getting some fish in that area. Well, there we go. That didn't take too long. I expected it to be fairly good. I've fished this spot a few times and I'm sure there's a little shoal of roach that must live near this tree. I mean, I don't think there's, a, there's any record breakers to be had. Or in fact, if um, I don't have a clue what I'm talking about because it's not a roach, it's a dace. But it's a fish and it's a start. First cast and we're off the mark. So. I'll get him unhooked, I'll get him in the net. Happy with that for a start, at least it's a fish and as I mentioned earlier, there's a chance of a, a chub, obviously a day because we've had one. I know there's a few trout stocked in this stretch not so long ago, so there's a chance of that as well. So it could just be, you know, a, an afternoon into evening on the river, get your fishing fix in before the weekend and it's all nice and happy. But I'm just gonna gonna carry on, plop under in that same sort of area. If there's one fish there, there's bound to be more. It's a little bit of an awkward cast. I don't want to don't want to get in the trees. I've got sort of trees above me 
and obviously the, the tree I'm fishing to. So you've got to be a little bit careful not to go too tight, but it's not too much of an issue. And already a few little rattles on the tip. So there is some fish going to be there. Hopefully there's a nice big Wenson roach with my name on it. There we go, what have we got this time? It's a little bit of a more positive bite. It doesn't always mean a bigger fish, but we have got a Wensum Dace. <laughs> Again, and to be fair, he's pretty big. I should have um, I should have lied really today and said we're fishing for Dace, you know, but never mind. Nicely hooked, good bite, and they are mega little fish, aren't they? I think all little sort of dace, roach, small chublets and that, they don't get enough credit for just how nice, pretty little fish they are. If they grew to 20 pounds, we'd be chasing them all the while. But he's going back. We're going to slip another bait on. And we're going to get back at it. I can confirm it is absolutely freezing. My feet are starting to go numb within a few minutes. So I don't know, uh, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to brave it before I... I cry off for a break, but let's get another another cast now. I'm getting a lot of indications on the tip as it goes in. Now that there's plenty of minnows and that in here, so that could well be them darting about for the bread flake, as well as it could be fish sort of nibbling at my bait as well. But certainly indications early on, very very good. Is this a roach? Or not is the question. <laughs> Whee! There we go. Now at least if I don't catch any more, I can say mission accomplished. Not gonna break any records. Your live little character actually on this side, he's probably been uh, nabbled by a pike at some point in his life, or at least he's uh, escaped the jaws of one anyway, so he lived on to complete our mission of a Wenson roach but another good fish really starting to uh, to kick off well now hopefully there's some bigger ones out there you never know I mean like I said I think the real big fish that the Wenson used to hold sort of two and three pounders back in the day unfortunately I I'm not old enough to remember fishing back then and when it really perhaps was his heyday predation's got hold of it a little bit but it's still good signs that the river is healthy and there's plenty of fish in it. We go another bite. Not sure what this one is. No, no, my track record is. Good. Give me another day or something, but a good bite. It waited a little bit longer. <laughs> you know what? It is another day. It's a big day, though. There we go. That is not a bad day at all. He's really tensed up, but I can't believe we're not catching roach. I really can't. This is like my spot. If I wanted to catch a few roach, I mean, you don't catch loads, and they're not massive, but you normally catch a few. But perhaps there's just a few of these fellas down here at the moment getting in the way. But I'm sure there's going to be a roach down here in a minute. Well, I'm not sure what this is. If it's a roach, it's going to be way bigger than anything I've ever caught here. So I don't think it's a roach. It's actually, actually coming upstream. Like I said, there is a chance of a chub or a a trout or something like that but whatever it is is definitely welcome and it is a chub i think 100 percent welcome i'll take that like good bending rod good action let's see if we can get them in there we go i've left me uh no well you got a bit of a look at him anyway even if it wasn't uh, in your hands. Certainly won't believe I'll have to get up there.
that'll teach me for leaving my land up the bank, won't it? I do like um, just hand handing me when I'm in the river. That's another sort of reason why I'm here. But it's nice to see a slightly bigger fish in the river. I touched on the predation earlier, and actually, if you look literally just opposite me, there's an otter run where clearly they've um, they've come in before and. The Wensum especially really did get devastated by it and I would have just loved to have seen this river in the heyday. I mean it done a done a huge barb which I think was either close to or the British record when I was really young. And some big big roach as well, but certainly good to see a bigger fish still here and we're still getting a few rattles, so there's gonna be more to come I'm sure. Another little one coming in, not very big at all, but we're getting bites. Let's see, uh, there we go, we've got a roach. No, we haven't we got a taste? <laughs> the light's fading, I couldn't quite see properly then. It's so frustrating this time of year. It gets to like half three and the light fades. But he, um, a roach in disguise, he was. Another, another little day, so we'll slip him in the net and while I'm out I'll just show you the rig that we use now it really is nothing complicated so set, set up on a paternoster style and off the paternoster I've just tried a quick chain swivel and then I clip my feeder onto the end quick reason for the quick chain swivel is I can change the feeder size or weight if I needed to and then a real small feeder like I said grip mesh so a few wires in the middle just to keep that liquidized bread in and I'm still going to go with with maggots on the hook as it I mean we've probably got what half an hour of light left I'm guessing if it drops a tiny bit more like I might put a bit of bread flake on and just see if there's a bigger fish or another chub or something that <laughs> hopefully won't drop and you'll be able to see but all I'm doing with this got some bread in the feeder liquidized up and it's the perfect sort of parcel of bait really you think although I'm gripping it in here really tight as it hits the water, each little particle is going to flow out over, the, over my hook link, my hook link straightened out behind it, and I'm drawing fish up. And every cast, I'm just introducing a little bit more into the swim, but not overfeeding them. You know, it's cold, it's winter. If I was to put sort of maggots in every single cast, I'd run the risk of, of overfeeding them and perhaps not catching for a longer period of time. So hopefully with the bread, less food, but still attraction going down, you keep your bites coming. Not complicated, but certainly enjoyable. Well, it looks like I've found a few fish now. It's not been as as good as I expected. And actually, this is a target species. Whee. You can hear everyone cheering silently. A nice roach. That's what I wanted to be catching all day. I don't mind the days and the, the surprise chub, but that lights fade a little bit and I've actually just started casting a little bit further down. I don't know perhaps if me talking, getting in has, has put a little bit of disturbance in and they just won't quite come further up. But since I've done that, I've had about three or four chucks doing that now. And they um yeah, I've been getting bites that little bit quicker, so I'll carry on with that I think. And hopefully a few more of these. Well there we go, as the rush hour traffic is battling to get home, we've had a couple of hours in the river catching a few fish. We had the chub that I messed up and didn't quite get to show you. A few days and the odd roach as well, so mission accomplished on that one. And we'll call this one perhaps a mini episode, literally two hours fishing, but it's been great fun. I've got two feet that I'm not quite sure if the toes are still attached to, I'm absolutely frozen, but it's too dark to film now. So we're going to head off home. So if you've not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. We've got some full feature length videos coming soon to keep updated with everything they're up to, obviously, going forward in the future. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again on the next one.